Hey everyone, it's Linda Rayner here, and today we're going to talk about how to be confident no matter who you're with, no matter where you're at. And I'm going to share with you three key principles that I've learned from my life on what it takes to be confident. Now, when I'm talking about confidence, I'm not sharing something that I've just read online or that I've learned from a YouTube video or anything like that. I'm actually speaking from lived experience. My lived experience consists of over the last seven years, I've been able to reach millions of people through my teachings, through my courses, through my programs, and through my YouTube channel to help them elevate themselves into the next level in their careers specifically. So I've been able to teach people, how do you position Position yourself to sell yourself to the employers and convince them that you're the right fit for them, that they need you, that you deserve that position, that you deserve to rise in your career. And I've been able to impact many, many, many lives, as you can see here. This was me over 10 years ago. This was me working at one of the big four accounting firms. I'm smiling real bright here amongst my coworkers. We were all summer students at the time. It was a great time getting to go to company-sponsored events, getting drinks paid for, meals paid for by the company. And I naively believed that this was how my new life was going to be. In a sense, that's how they sucked me in. So you couldn't tell here, but deep down, I was highly insecure. I was lacking a lot of self-confidence and I was also lacking a lot of life experience. I didn't know who I was and where I was going. All I knew was that I just had to work hard and eventually try to get promoted. Fast forward 10 plus years, I've come a long way since being that little young accountant girl, CPA girl, to now sitting in front of you and talking to you about confidence and what that is and what that means and how you can be more confident. It is a little bit surreal. Now we're going to get into the three principles that you need to understand about confidence. Principle number one, confidence is a state of being, which means it's not an emotion. An emotion is something that's fleeting. You can feel sad, you can feel happy, disappointed. Those are fleeting. But confidence ultimately is an energetic state. When Oprah walks into a room full of people, let's say she's walking into a room full of other billionaires just like herself, do you think that she's standing outside the door thinking to herself, Hmm, what am I going to say to these people? Hmm, what is the structure of how I should talk when I approach them? How do I make sure that when I speak to them, I look natural, I sound natural? No, I mean, we can safely assume that's not how she approaches her life because with Oprah, she embodies confidence. She embodies her energy. She embodies and exudes and radiates an inner self-awareness. She embodies this feeling of comfort within herself. And because she feels comfortable within herself, she's able to express that outwardly. And then other people are able to connect to that energy and they feel comfortable around her. That is why confidence is a state of being. It is a state you can get yourself into and you can radiate that. You can express that naturally. It's all about how you manage your energy, but it's about understanding that you first and foremost are made of energy. So on to the next thing that you need to understand, the next principle, which is the world is your mirror. Carl Jung, famous Swiss psychiatrist and psychoanalyst and philosopher once said, unless you learn to face your own shadows, you will continue to see them in others because the world outside you is only a reflection of the world inside you. This is something that I've always understood to be my reality. I filter the world through how I feel internally. So I know that the world externally, if things aren't going right, if things feel like they're not working out, if things feel hard and tough, I know that that's because inside there's stuff going on within me that's bringing that out into the reality that I'm living in. And so what this is saying is that your beliefs play a pivotal role in how the world is around you. So if you, for example, do not feel that you are good enough, if you are always feeling less than, the world is going to consistently give you opportunities to feel less than. And so the world is trying to reflect that back to you so that you can heal it. So now take an inventory of what beliefs you're holding on to that 
aren't serving you. If you want to change your reality, you have to change your beliefs. You've probably heard that before, but I can tell you from my own lived experience, that is absolutely true. Now onto principle number three about confidence, and that is confidence is a byproduct of deep inner healing work. Throughout my life, whenever I've faced situations where I felt like a failure, where I've been disappointed, where I've had to overcome some really depressed states, those were the times where I really needed to turn inward and do deep inner healing work. I needed to dig deep and remove emotional blockages that were stopping me from rising to the next level in my life. Because ultimately, it was the emotional blockages that were causing these issues in the first place. It was the stuff that I was holding onto internally that was causing my reality to show up the way it was. For example, before starting my business and going online and putting myself out here, I was working a corporate job. And towards the end of it, even though I had achieved a lot of success in that career and I was well known and I was doing really well, I had reached a point towards the end where I was feeling trapped. I was feeling stuck. I was feeling truly at a low point because I realized that that was not the path that I wanted to go on any longer. And most people, if they're not sensitive, like I am, most people have the stamina to be able to just keep chugging along, just keep doing the job, just keep staying in the same place because it pays the bills and it's fine. I didn't have the ability to do that because I'm sensitive. And if you're sensitive, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I did not have the ability to hold on to those tough, hard feelings day in and day out, going to a job that I did didn't enjoy anymore. And so instead of just quitting that job and trying to find something else, I made the decision to dig deep, to turn inward and ask myself, what is it that's going on with me? What is it that I really want? What is it, what is it that I do, I want to do? So I had to ask myself those hard questions and that led me down the journey of doing deep inner healing and being able to get myself to a place where I was confident enough to move into the next level in my life. And many, many years later, this is where I am. <laughs> When we are willing to burn through the painful emotional blockages that are lodged deep within us, are we able to truly heal? It's really like cleaning out a house. When you clean out a a hoarder's house, eventually you'll find, oh, I have room now. I have room where I can put furniture. That's the same for within your body. Energetically, you need to make space. So you need to get rid of the emotional blockages, the beliefs that are not serving you and all of the junk and gunk that's been sitting in there for years and years if you truly want to embody and exude confidence. So if you want to be confident, be prepared and just know that the journey to true ultimate confidence is not necessarily easy because confidence is a byproduct of inner healing. So there you have it. Those are the key principles that you need to understand on how to be confident no matter where you're at, no matter who you're with. I want to ask you, out of the three principles that you just learned, which one stuck with you the most? Was it that confidence is a state of being? Was it that the world is a reflection of your internal world? Or was it that confidence is truly a byproduct of inner healing work? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you have any other questions or comments about this topic, I would love to see them and hear them to address them as well in upcoming videos. In my next video, we're going to dive deeper and we're going to talk about what to do with this understanding, this newfound understanding of what confidence really is so that you can get that much closer to embodying who you truly are. I hoped you liked this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.